Hello everyone, this is my life wire and welcome to Brawls League Heroes! Today we have a Rules vs French matchup. This is once again a random ma uh, ladder game I I'm casting. This is not live, it's already played, but I did find this uh, potentially interesting. The, the ELO is about 700, 700, yeah, around 700 ELO. So, all right, so let's introduce the players on the top. It is the blue Roost player. I'd love for the Roost to be in red color. It's a little bit of a mindfuck when they have the color inversed. Uh, his name is Artful Basket. Let's call him Basket. Uh, from now on, Bruce blue. Uh, it, it tricks my mind to think the Bruce is blue and the uh, French is red. All right, in the bottom is the red French player. His name is Cooper. Uh, all right, let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, he has the idle worker for a while building a house. Okay, nice. What 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 are you doing? He's building a second house. Basket. We have a uh, another real estate real estate developer on our hand. He's building two houses, two houses right off the bat. Because he want he wants to sell them later for a higher price. That's a uh, market speculation. How it works. That's uh that's what he's that's his plan. Here comes the uh, scout of Cooper. He got a little bit close to the to the TC. He's probably trying to check the house. See if it's a potential good good piece of land, a good nice house that he can invest in. Uh, but uh, yeah, he survived. Didn't get shot down by the thing. Oh, it, there's spoiler. There's one hour. It's a one hour long game. All right, sit back and relax and enjoy the game. Let's see. Okay, um, we are in a kind of a normal opener right now. Yeah, Cooper is playing kind of normal. He's uh, doing everything seemingly based on build order. And the uh, Roos player here is just, he's, he's a little bit deviated from the... Uh, <laughs> he built two, uh, two, you know, two houses. Three houses? Are you kidding me? What is the obsession with houses? He's, 30, he's on 30 population. And build this, you'll be on 40. It's 13 over 40. You never need those. Come on, dude. And he's not hunting deer. He doesn't get any bonus. He doesn't even know what bonus does. What, what is a bounty? What is Roos bounty? Why am I playing Roos? What's the point of killing deer? I don't know. Maybe it gives you gold or something? Could it be that good? It must be too good to be true, right? Look, his opponent is killing his deer. His opponent knows what's up. His opponent is like, I'm gonna deny your deer, but the roost player is like, I don't care. Kill my deer. I don't even want the deer. I don't even want I don't even want the bounty and go. Yeah. This is the next level mind game. If I don't go for the bounty, you're just wasting your time. That's that's what the basket is uh is thinking, his plan. Yeah. For those who don't know, Roost players can just uh, open a, with a two, three scouts easily kill enough deer to avoid mining gold, uh, even up to Castle Age. They don't even have to mine gold at all. They can just uh, trade, uh, do a very, very good trade with the Golden Gate landmark, uh, sell wood to get gold very quickly. So, yeah. I don't think uh, I don't think Basket knows how to play Roos. Maybe it's his first time trying this Sif. Uh, but so far, it looks like his uh, his build order is uh, all over the place. Let's see the French player here. Is yeah, the French player looks much more. Oh wait, he doesn't have a workers on food though. He pulled all all workers from food to build a landmark. Yeah, but at least he looks more normal. You know, looks like a normal uh, macro. Has a structure, has a system there. That's good. All right. Who's aging up? The Roos is able to age up anytime. We'll see if he's gonna age up at all. Okay, French is able to build knights, but he doesn't have the food because he pulled all the worker from food to build that landmark, so he can't 
build knights even though he rushed out that cavalry school of cavalry that fast doesn't matter can't use it so what I what I usually do is to pull the workers from wood to build a landmark and you don't need so many workers on gold you probably need work more workers on food you have a mill and you you're not really using it you have one villager on the bearing anyway all right he's getting Kremlin okay this guy doesn't know at all how to play Rus. not saying that Kremlin is bad uh, it, it has come back to the meta uh, in recent pro games we have seen people pro player, players building Kremlin near the river to have a map control and to get a, a faster wood chopping rate but uh, in this case this player here basket mr. basket doesn't know what he's doing he's mining gold uh, stone now maybe he's going for a second TC but will he build villager out of second TC from previous episode we learned that some players just like to slap down some random TC's on every corner of the base of the map but they, they don't produce any villager out of it it's like a statement I've been here all right it's quite uneventful the uh, I don't think I don't think the French has Knight? Does he have knight? There's one scout. Maybe there's a knight. It's hard to tell. Okay, he has two scouts. He has no knights. He hasn't built anything. He's not building knight. He has enough food. But he's like, who cares about knight? Who cares about aggression? Who cares about the best early feudal age unit in the whole game? That is royal knight. I don't care. I pick French, but I don't use it. Alright, uh, let's speed it up. Looks a little bit uneventful, right? Let's see how. Oh my god, what is this? Double wooden fortress. I want to see his bounty as well. 30 bounty! <laughs> what is bounty anyway? He never checked. What is this uh, uh, This sack on the bottom left corner of, of my UI? What does it mean? There's a number on it. Oh wow! There's too too many too, too many too many texts. I don't want to read it. That's what happened. He doesn't want to read the text. He doesn't know how it works. It's like I don't care. I, I can play better than the, than the than the game. The tips of the game. Like a lot of us don't don't read the tips when we play a new game, right? I don't. I usually don't read the tips tips. Now, this guy is. Uh, he definitely doesn't read tips. So, alright. Looks like our French player has first knight. It's gonna come across the... It's coming across the map? What is this positioning of the scout? Where is... Where, okay, the knight is at home. Alright. Yeah. I mean, usually players don't really use their knights until they reach 1000 elo. They're waiting for the 1000 elo to finally use their knight. That's what's happening here. Oh, the French player is actually getting the professional scout. Okay, interesting. It's like a role reversal. He's getting the deer. He's killing the deer. Even though he doesn't have bounty, he's getting the deer carcasses. Okay, interesting. What? What? Why? What is the meaning of that? <laughs> you have this. Just put your worker here. This is gonna take a while to finish for you, for you to complete. Wait, but what? What? Why? Uh, there's a, a little bit of creative, a little bit creative. This double fortress. I, I I didn't comment on this, but this is really pointless, right? It doesn't protect anything. Your opponent can just run in here, run into I don't know. Okay, there's a Kremlin. But yeah, it's a little bit out of range to protect your wood line or potentially the back of the base. If you put it here, it'll be better. Also, it gives you bonus, right? You can you can return 20% more wood. You just place it near your wood line. Now you missed out the double fortress, but you're not you're not getting any bonus, any buff from it. All right, scouts slowly returning carcasses from the of the deer. Okay, 10 minutes, both are under 
30 supply. That's when we know that we have a an hour long game in our hand. It it just takes every everything is slower. When you were at lower elo, you just take it slow and enjoy the slow pace of the game. What is this? He's building another wooden fortress. Okay, now you're getting the bonus when you're mining out all the trees. Now you're getting bonus. Good thinking. But yeah. To be fair, there are very little trees around the bases, around the spawn. You have to go a little bit far, like like the French guy did. All right, basket, you are idling ten workers. Where could you possibly get food? Like, there's no food income. Oh my God, what is this? He's getting the gold income only fourteen. <laughs> Uh, to get that 14 gold income, he is long distance mining those berries. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's painful, man. Painful. But at least, at least they are not building any units. They're not consistent building villagers either. Which means they, they can bank up a lot of resource to age up to the next age. That is the good news. They can get into castle really early. That's the good news. Because they're not spending money. Look at this. French player has some map presence. Very nice. Positioning some uh, archers on top of the hill. It looks like. It. Can you shoot down from here to here? Like, can you attack enemy down there? If you could, that would be very interesting. You know, th there should be some high ground, low ground mechanics. Like, if you are on high ground, you can get some sort of bonus or. Uh, I know you already have a vision bonus, I guess. Like people on low ground cannot see you. But it will be interesting, like if you have a high ground like this, it's almost like a mountain cliff. Uh, you could get additional armor or something from ra from ranged weapons. Okay, this guy, this lady, is going for the wood. No, he's building something. Maybe he's trying to wall off. Yeah, we haven't seen a wall in this game yet. Kairos player is getting a higher trade house. It's an, once again unusual choice of landmark. He's going. Uh, both both his landmarks are the uh, unpopular ones. He likes to go the alternative routes. Well, French is uh, yeah, getting more archers up on the hill. I don't think he even has that vision to see his opponent. Yeah, he doesn't even see that much. So I don't know. Let's speed up. Looks like nothing's happening. Okay, Rose player is getting second TC. Let's see if he builds any villagers out of it. Oh, he's killing up a lot of villagers. Okay. He's killing up a lot of villagers. No. Good. It's better than not building. You know, you, you can queue up as, as many as you want. Uh, but it's always better. You know, it's always better than not producing any villager at all. So there's that. Okay. So we're seeing the French player. Uh, starting to wall off his opponent this is one typical strategy by uh, low-level players. They like to wall off their opponents so they can uh, strangle and choke their opponents. And uh, how exactly is he going to achieve uh, or is, is there anything he can achieve by walling off his opponent? We'll see. Is it wall off? Yes, I think it is. Oh, what happened here? He got shot by the sprinkle. It's sprinkle. It was in... It was in range. He can see up there. That's interesting. Yeah, he has a very good vision here. He can see up the cliff. Look at this. This is some uh, unrealistic stuff. The wooden fortress, no matter how tall it is, it is not taller than this mountain cliff. There's no way from the wooden fortress you can see up here. Yeah, this is something unrealistic about a game. Uh, if they can incorporate the high, gra high ground, low ground mechanics a little bit better, I don't. That would be that would make the game really complex. So, 
but it will be interesting. It will be interesting mechanics, but it's gonna be too complex. Okay, he's building farms. He's getting economy. Uh, 90 bounty. Still hasn't unlocked tier one. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pain. That is so much pain. By unlocking the tier 1, you also get hunting cabins generating gold every 27 seconds. You get uh, faster gold generation from your hunting cabins as well. So you not only get faster food harvesting, you also get faster gold. So yeah, it's pretty good to get those bounties. Also, they are, they're just free money. You kill a deer, it's free money. These are all killed by the French player here. This is walling off completely. Look at this wall. Another great wall. Great wooden palisade wall. Um, yeah. French, uh, not French, the roost is contained here. He's building, okay, he's building, he's building workers. He's totally, he's totally building workers from his second DC. What about your first DC? What about, what about your main DC? Did you hotkey only your second DC? Like, look at him queuing up 1,000 workers here, but he's not producing from his main TC. Hello? Hello? Yeah, we haven't looked at the French player for a while. Uh, looks like his base is uh, kind of a nicely, very neatly organized as the block structure. It's like a modern city uh, structure here. He has very nice urban planning background, this, this, this player. Hooper study urban planning. Um, okay, doesn't have too many structures, it looks neat though, looks neat, has a lot of food, he's not worried about it, he has a professional scout, a very good choice here, because uh, if, if both players are passive, especially at low level, both players passive, you can get those deer very easily, you can get professional scout and get free food very, very easily, because they're, they're, your opponent is not going to contest you. At all. Oh, he's just rallying units into the fortress. Oh my god. He's playing like a red alert. Base building and build 1000 uh, tanks and just move across the map. Ooh, trebuchet. Okay, we're gonna see more trebuchet. More trebuchet action today. All right, this is going to reveal a lot of stuff here. It's gonna see half the city. Not bad, not bad. You, you can use trebuchet to attack the town center. I don't know how effective that is going to be. If he has like a five trebuchet, he could tear down all the landmarks, right? How many? Oh, okay, he has another landmark tucked in the back of the base. So yeah, can't kill your opponent just yet, but it would be an interesting idea. Let's see the word count. Okay, Cooper, <clears throat> our French player, even though he has very good large territory, he has like a 75% of the map, but it's only on 50 supply here. And uh, the basket has uh, 67, 68, he has way more supply. He's building more units, even though they are very cheap spearmen, low value units, but uh, at least he's building units. Okay, so finally building villager from his main TC, that's good. Means he's gonna have a very good economy lead. Look at this, 53, 54, he's continue, continuously building more villagers. That's very good. That's a good habit. Always be building workers. Uh, French player is very, very behind in this regard. Only 32. Yep. Good for the Rus player. Good for the Rus player. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Now it's just a matter of uh, whether or not he can break out this contain, you know, if he realized that he's contained, he doesn't even know yet. He probably doesn't even, doesn't even scout, look at this guy! Dude, you're playing ruse, you're supposed to be active with a scout on the map. You don't even see what's, what's on the map. It's all dark, 50% of the map is dark. Okay, Cooper, look at Cooper playing like a professional. Not only getting professional scouts, but also play like a professional. He scout everything, he contain his opponent, he is positioning his knights and archers and uh, crossbowmen here. 
Uh, this could be working already. You could be shelling uh, at those structures already. He's not attacking for some reason. Maybe he doesn't want his opponent to know, but his opponent definitely knows. Wooden Fortress can see him. Or another alternative is to capture the sacred site. They're both in H3. It is very plausible that one of them could take over the secret side and defend it. I think it's doable. Yeah, doable. All right. <clears throat> this is actually a pretty safe occasion on this uh, one. Kremlin protecting two TCs. Very nice and cozy layout here. idling worker. Bruce has so many idle workers he's not taking care of his even though he has so many economy it's almost like same amount of worker as the French player because he's he's idling his worker all, the entire time like he has been having 13 idle worker for most of the time and now he's getting more idle workers here. I don't know if he knows if there's a hotkey for idle workers. He, if he doesn't read this card the bounty card, maybe he doesn't even read this either. He doesn't know what this means. What is this number? 25. Is the higher the better, maybe? Yes. Okay, now he's sending workers to work. Yes, please, basket. Let them work. Make them work for you. Okay, French player getting the relics. Maybe very advanced. He already has one. Now he has two. He could get. Uh, he could get at least two more. You could even get this one as well. Yeah, you could get all the relics. Just build a door, uh, a gate here. The Rus is not doing anything. The Rus is so passive. He's just sitting back here. I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's speed up. Let's speed up because I don't see anything happening. Someone is going to age up. Trebuchet is here, not doing anything. Uh, I think the French. French has good map control, but uh, his population is so low. He hasn't built worker for like 10 minutes. He stopped building worker at 32 villagers counts. It's like a, it's uh, 32 is enough. I don't need more. But he's not building units either. Look at the bank. I don't understand. What are you doing in the game? If you if you are not building villagers and you're not building military what are you doing in a game you could be you could be going out to walk your dog for 10 minutes and come back and build the exact same amount of stuff i don't understand what are they doing let me see what is he doing he's just looking at his walls okay he's attacking he's he's contemplating he's looking at his opponents and he's like where should i attack should i attack from the left, should I attack on the right? With that time, you could have built 10 villagers, 10 more knights. He's surveying the land. He's like, I'm going to conquer the land and I'll be the king of the entire land. And I, I better understand the land. I better study the geography. Okay, here we have some interaction. The Roost player, whoops. The Roost player is trying to break out. He said, I've had enough. The trebuchet is posing a, a huge threat to our national security. I'm gonna take down the trebuchet. What are these? Just spearmans. Spearmans actually can take down all these units from French. Knights are really weak. He knows. French player knows. He doesn't want to engage uh, directly. But uh, yeah, he cannot avoid that. That's so many trebuchets. I think in the Spearman should win, right? Yeah, Spearman is winning. Crossbow, crossbow is good, but they are expensive compared to Spearman. So, oops, and now comes the archers. Okay, never mind. Spearman gonna die. Bruce is gonna have to switch up his unit composition if he wants to break out this position. Look at this. Yeah, we're in insane range. 16 range, wow, that's the longest range in the whole game. So, yeah. Uh, you could build more uh, unit production facility in the back of the base, or you could just uh, try to break that. 
Not with the spearman, no! He doesn't know unit he doesn't know the unit counter. He doesn't understand that spearmen are weak against archers, or archers have bonus against spearmen. They are spearmen, yeah, yeah, they are spearmen. He's just focusing down on Trebuchet. Uh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Trebuchet's <laughs> shooting at the spearmen. Uh, okay. Slowly, gradually, the French player is taking down the the buildings in front of the uh, in the front of the roof space. What is the roof gonna do? You have stable. You, you could build knight. Come on, you build knight. More backs. It's gonna build more spearmen. Oh come on, no, not like this. Also, who's in H four? Cooper, French player, is in H four. That's nice. You can build cannons instead of the uh, trebuchet now. Cannons is so much better than trebuchet. More powerful, more uh, versatile, maneuverable, and more cost efficient. It's getting more relics. Yeah, that's the only remaining relic on the map right now. French is going to have all four relics. Does he? He doesn't know to take money from the guild hall. Oh, with that, he'll be so rich. It's not like he could spend the money anyway. It's not, they don't know how to spend money. It's a problem, man. Problem. Alright, building a wall. Contain your opponent. Oh, God. Th this makes a very nice thumbnail. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Cinematic. Epic. You can get so close to this thing. Beautiful. Yeah, what is Roos going to do? His main TC is on half HP. Better repair that. He's building more spearmen. Oh my god. Only units he know is spearmen, I guess. Roos are Roos have so many good units. You can't just build. You can't even break out. There's stone wall. You can't even break out the stone wall. Is he gonna just lose here? The Roos is gonna just lose by not doing anything in the whole game, dude. A player AFK can play better than this. I'm disappointed. I got a landmark destroyed by the trebuchets. He cannot win this just yet because he has this. This is out of reach. Right? This is out of reach of the trebuchet for sure. Don't tell me you can reach the trebu uh, the trebuchet can reach that uh, high trade ho house. I don't believe that. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he can reach that. Show me. Show me. No, he can't. I think he's trying. Okay, he can. He can't even hit the barracks. Never mind. Okay, so he has to go down there to engaging a no hand-to-hand -hand combat. Can't just uh, stay back and siege his opponent forever. Doesn't. Doesn't work. Thirty minutes. The Rus is actually ahead in supply. Now he can't build any villagers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 56 villagers. Could have built more. Could have built more. Oh, uh, all right. He's building, battering rams. Is going to try to break out this position. He's fed up with this siege and contain. It's time to rebel against the tyranny. Two mangonels. Oh my god. These mangonels are murderers. Look at this. If they come this way, if they were not in the battering rams, oh my god, they would just die. They'll be crushed by the mangonels. Speed up. I don't see any action. Come on, guys. What's happening? Ooh. Okay. French is grabbing the the last relic on the map. Okay. He's gonna have all five relics. Right now he has four in the monastery. Some knights escorting heat. It's like I'm in the base, but I don't, I don't know what raid is. 
He's uh, obeying the uh, what is this called? A Genova treat treaty or something. It's not attacking the villagers. And never mind, he's going for it. He's gonna massacre those villagers. Good, good. That's how you destroy your, your opponent's economy. Roos doesn't even have TC. You can't even replenish the villagers. French, Roos, okay, Roos could be aging up, but he's not doing it. And so he yeah, has so many idle worker. Come on, just move your idle worker. Make them do something. Long distance mining, anything is better than idling. Yeah, this is such a depressing game for the Roos player. My God, he's he's still building spearmen. Dude, you have gold, you have food, you could build this, but an arm is better. What is... Ah, this is so frustrating. Speed up. What happened? Some villagers got hit. Alright, here comes the ramps. Action begins. Let's turn the camera. You can see it better from this angle. Oh, Manganels, lucky they're in the ram. Imagine if they're not in the ram. This is 16 plus, uh, multiply 4 is like 64 spearmans. Oh my god. Yeah, they're not doing enough damage. The Springles are gonna shoot it. Are the Springles are shooting or not? Maybe they're blocked. Yeah. Oh, okay. this damage. He only, he's only damaging this tower, he's not breaking the wall yet. He's like, oh my god, all this work, only for that tower? <laughs> Look at the map now, shot. Oh my god. Oh. Look at this. Oh my god. What a massacre. What a massacre. Now he's gonna have Nightmare of Walls. Tonight he's gonna dream of uh, a stone wall, and is trying to scale the wall with a spearman and and uh, stones and projectiles raining down upon his soldiers. Ah yeah yeah, he's building more spearmen. Stop it! You're even running out of trees. Come on. Why do you keep building spearmen? I don't understand. Yes. <laughs> Four rem is not enough, but two is gonna do the job. We'll see. <laughs> okay, he's building more. This has turned into a, a full campaign game. The yellow hat is uh, some somewhat comical. Why do they have a yellow hat? Oh, we can get so close to the people. Ow. Uh, let me change the, change the angle here. Can I get closer? No, I have to be on the top of the mountain to get close to them. Look at this. Is he smoking? Did he smoke? No, that's not smoke. Okay. He's just rubbing his uh, his beard. I thought he was smoking. The graphic is so ugly. I think I have the graphic on low setting, so... Kind of see his feature is roughly 50 years old. Still in battle to, f to make ends meet because he's so poor, he's a peasant. The only trait he know is uh, how to shoot arrow with longbow, not a longbow, regular bow. So yeah, poor grandpa still fighting for his country. All right, zoom back. What's happening? What is happening? The roof still hasn't repaired. You know you can repair, right? You know you can repair this. You can repair your TC, Kremlin. I'm not sure. You don't really need a Kremlin. If your opponent gets into your base, you're dead. It doesn't even matter. But you need to repair your TC. Dude. It, ah, he's like, ah, I don't care. 50 workers is enough. 50 workers is too much for, for these players. It's too many workers. French has only 42 at this moment. So we have 100 supply versus 133 supply. 
Supply is kind of deceiving. The Roost player has higher supply, but he cannot break out of here because it's you know strategic position is terrible. He's going into a choke. He could attack here. He could attack here. Oh, never mind. Look at this. Mass knights coming in. It's gonna destroy the, all the villagers. He's trying to take down the fortress. All right, let's see more uh, mangonel raining on <laughs> experiment. Now there are two stone towers. So how is it gonna work if the first time didn't, the second time it will work, right? If I just keep doing the same thing, it will just magically work, right? Right? When my, my opponent is getting more mangonels and more towers and more units to defend. Oh my god. This villager is getting massacred. Spearmen getting massacred. What? A disaster! Look at the boiling oil! Wow! Nothing is left. Just bodies. Just bodies. That's very sad tale. If this... If, uh, if Basket is a war general, he would be the worst. He would he would be committing crime against his own people because if because of his in, incompetence. Alright, nice coming in for a raid. It's only it's only thirty minutes too too late. Thirty five minutes too late. All right. Finally, nice coming deep into the roost land. Trebuchets. I think he. I think he thinks trebuchet is the ultimate unit. Oh no, he, he has cannons. Okay, good. He has cannons now. What is this? High armory. It doesn't do anything. You don't even have a siege workshop. My dude, it's not a keep. It's not a castle. You cannot attack. You cannot defend with it. Oh. He probably think it's it's a keep, right? It does it does look like a keep. Okay, spearmen are good counter to those uh, knights. The knights cannot engage this fight. Knights need to turn around. Ooh. Okay, took down one or two two knights. Yeah, just turn around. Just go back. You don't have to engage here. Get better unit. Get more units. Oh no! Don't fight. Oh no! You're gonna lose knights. Oh no! These poor knights. Oh, what a disaster! Look at them fall to the peasants. They like they train their whole life. From from when they were five years old, they started training how to use a sword, how to ride a horse, and then they. They bought all the shiny armors and uh, get, got a horse and the sword and the lance and only to lose to a bunch of peasants with a spear, poking, pokey spears, spears. So sad, military tragedy. It's full of military tragedy from both sides. Oh my god. I can't believe this wall actually worked. French player is enjoying uh, unprecedented peace and prosperity. It's so nice. So nice to be a French peasant in this in this game. Look at them. Undisturbed the whole whole time. 50 minutes. Not not a single time they've been disturbed. They're just working their ass off, pay off their debt, pay off student loan, uh, content with their life goal and ambition. That is to support their military maneuver uh, by their French king or emperor or whatever. Who rules Fran France? Um, okay, it's building more stone tower. That for sure, there's no way the rules can break out. It's still building spear. Stop with the spearmen! Stop with the spearmen! Stop with the spearmen! Oh my god! Stop it! Why do you keep building spearmen? I swear, he doesn't know anything else. There are other units in this game. There are siege weapons, there are horsemen, there are 
cavalry's range units. There are boats, there are airplanes, bombers, the nuclear weapons, but you have to build spearmen. I don't know what to say. The, the game sco still goes on for uh, like 13 minutes. And what? 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 <laughs> How many spearmen is this? 115 spearmen. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> okay, it's changing target. Still, you gotta build a ram though. Look at his supply, so deceptive. Uh, it's 50 supply leads, but it's all garbage supply. Right? He can't do anything against Stonewall. Oh, now he realizes, oh, I can't attack. Oh, I can't attack the Stonewall. Oh, what happened? Poor guy. <laughs> oh my god. He has to go here. No, he, he, he just needs to build rams. Just build rams. Okay, he's building rams. Or build siege workshop and build siege weapons. That would be even better. Or I can break out from here. This is free exit. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. French is just building more and more siege weapons. These Magnus, oh my god. If you had a unit kill count, it would have like a 30, 40, 30 kills on each of them. It's nasty, man. It is nasty. Definitely looks looks like a campaign. It's more like a Mountain Blade than an Age of Empire game at this point. It's just with a worse graphic, if you see me. Who's trying his string? They all look the same, I think. Oh, it's trying again. Oh no. Mangano, put Mangano in position. Come on, let's go, French. Oh, he's not doing it. Oh, 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 it's gonna break out if 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 uh, the French is not reacting to this. Just good, good chance the Fr uh, the Rus is gonna break out. Just target the wall. Just break out the wall. Ignore the towers. I don't know how effective the tower. You can attack the tower with the infantry as well. So look at that. Okay, okay, he's gonna break out if the French. Okay, French is reacting right now. Uh, it's gonna be an ugly fight. French doesn't have many units here, so once the rules break out here, French is in danger. He's building forward to keep to defend this. Oh my god, no! Mangano! Mangano is back! <laughs> Saved just in time. Villagers are repairing the wall. He's not breaching the wall just yet. Mangano is shouting away. Killing all those spearmen. 115 spearmen turned into ground and meat. Nasty. Oh my god, they're so low. They're so low. Oof. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So many try. So much failure, so much pain. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Basket, 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 oh, basket. At least he has the uh, TC repaired. 34 workers left only. Building siege workshop. Thank God! Thank God! You're building siege workshop. Oh my god. You know, you can build cannon, right? Oh, we are we are seeing a turn of events right now. This is the relief. Okay, is he going to build anything? Uh, he's researching first. He's researching. It doesn't have gold anymore. It doesn't have... It doesn't have gold income. Nobody's money. And gold is probably all depleted. And uh, this is turning only 17 gold per minute. 
that's super low. He doesn't have another hunting cabin. Yeah, he doesn't have gold. He doesn't have gold to build any of these. He could sell those. He, he could trade. He could do trade with the... Uh, does he have a market? doesn't have a market. Really? He doesn't have a market? How is he gonna afford any of this? He, he managed to... <laughs> I was just saying he managed to build one trap and he got sniped instantly. Poor guy, oh my god, his dream of breaking out is never gonna come true. Oh my god, the spearmen desperately chasing after this French siege weapons. They're gonna actually get one of those, one or two of those. That's a lot of crossbowmen. Okay, that's a nice catch. You know what could do better in this scenario? Knights or horsemen. Just build some different units other than spearmen. Anything is better. Okay, only kill trebuchet. Not good enough. TC under siege once again. Cannons don't have that range, but the trebuchet is great. Doesn't have gold. He cannot build a cannon, a bombard, or a trebuchet for another... I don't know. He needs another... Trebuchet is actually not that expensive. Yeah. No, 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 friend! Can, can, ah, Cooper! Why are you attacking Spearman with? A, <laughs> you're, you're going. You're so fancy, man! Attacking Spearman with the cannons. Oh my God! Oh my! Don't play with the fire. This guy is playing with fire here. But this is uh, another massacre. It's not as brutal as the one with the Magnal. He actually broke that wall. Oh, he's gonna take down a lot of those siege. Okay, that's good for him. That's a good trade. He can build a uh, spearman for days. Look at this. Doesn't have wood. That's a problem though. Doesn't have wood. And he lost everything. Because there are towers and the outposts. And a lot of crossbowmen shooting at him from high above. He has no trees. He cannot mine. He cannot chop trees from here because these are uh, they are controlled by the French uh, player. Uh, <laughs> Why do you build keep here? It doesn't attack anyone anywhere. What? It just looks pretty. It looks awesome to have a keep on top of the hill, but what are you gonna accomplish with that? Okay, it's a full camping game right now. The French is ultra ri rich. It still hasn't <laughs> taken money. Oh, 20k gold in, in guild hall. Oh my god, a French player. Please! Ah! Oh. Music is so nice in the background. It's like a war movie. There's been more spearmen. For fuck's sake, stop! Stop! Just stop! I want to cry. I want to cry. Does he even have upgrades? Looks like he has some upgrades. Oh my god. Where is the blacksmith? Here. Show me your upgrade. He has plus one melee weapon. Uh, zero melee armor. Zero range armor. Zero arrow upgrade. Yes. He has only plus one weapon upgrade. Under siege once again. French doesn't really build that many units. It's like. He's playing very efficiently, he's like only using siege weapons. And only now he's uh, worked his way up to 150 supply. It took him forever. One hour to get 150 supply. Without even losing that many units the whole game. Like, 
you could have maxed out in first 20 minutes, but uh, why max out when well, you can just goof around? What's happening? Spearman been caught to defend this position. Spearman can definitely win this fight. The yeah, they should pull your units down from the wall, man. What's the point? What's the point defending that? <laughs> Trebuchet is attacking them. Trebuchets are not gonna hit anyone. Any of those. They're too slow. Now you didn't keep. Why you didn't keep up here? You think your opponent can get up here? Your opponent can't even break a single wall. He hasn't. He hasn't broken a single wall the entire game. So you think he can get up there? That's a spearman with a very very poor upgrades. That's what what they can do here. Let's see. French got almost all the upgrade. That's why you see such a such an easy fight for the French player. Spearman just melt away because they have no upgrades. And Rus finally gave up uh, after one hour struggle of trying to break out with no success. And there we have it. That's the game. GG. Subscribe and like. See you next time.